welcome to Indian Mom Vlogs. Today we'll be looking at the Indian deep kitchen cleaning routine and uh, we'll also specifically in this video we'll be looking at how to clean kitchen cabinets in India, how to clean your stub hood filter. These two things will be covered in this uh, Indian deep cleaning kitchen uh, routine and uh, this is how much I could do for today around 20 minutes so this week I'm all, all into deep cleaning my kitchen so uh, you'll be seeing more of this deep cleaning till the whole week because I'm in the uh, fly lady zone 2 which is uh, the kitchen today we'll be uh, looking at kitchen deep cleaning this is my kitchen cleaning checklist I had shared this with you earlier and uh, today we'll be going through each of these and doing the deep clean so this is what all are there on my checklist but today I'll just look at the straightening drawers and cupboard and maybe also clean the hood filters and hood and scrubbing down cabinet fronts so anything to do with the cabinet and the, uh, the chimney I'll be doing that today cleaning the stove hood filter and also the hob at the top so let's see how to do it I'm using a spray of dishwashing soap mixed with water and I'm using my toothbrush also I applied some vinegar with the cloth all over so it makes it easier it loosens up all that grease and grime and it comes off easily I also will be using a scrubber you know that dish scrubber you get uh, which is gentle and doesn't leave any scratches and then uh, that will you know get off any hard to get to and uh, those grease uh, uh, marks which you do not you know go easily so you can see I'm using Vim liquid a little because the spray the strength was not enough I put very little in the spray bottle so this is how I clean my uh, food hood and also the now I'll also be cleaning the filter so once I'm done the scrubbing and cleaning this I'll uh, kind of puff it off with a dry cloth thoroughly so uh, I don't want any water stains there it will again trap more dirt and grease if I leave it there so once I have buffed it clean then I'll be taking care of the filters which are very grimy and you need to be cleaned as often as you can and I'll show you how I clean my star uh, filters uh, the uh, hood filters uh, shortly so I'm almost done cleaning the hob on the top the hood on the top or stove hood or whatever you call it exhaust uh, you know buffing it really well removing any moisture so that it doesn't trap again new dirt now I need to go check my checklist and let's see what I have got done um, this is my favorite part actually so I'm crossing out the hood now I need to take a look at the filters and the cabinet fronts. I think that's all I can uh, do today. Clean the kitchen cabinets and uh, straighten up the drawers or cupboards. Before that I will need to uh, remove this filter if you can see. This is very greasy. So I just remove this and let's see how to clean this uh, stuff filter or uh, hood filter. I simply soak it in warm water, hot water in a tub. Oh, before that I need to clean the inside also thoroughly. 
so I'm just using a cloth and wiping it thoroughly inside there's nothing much inside only the corners had uh, grease so I got to that and uh, switched off the power supply uh, you know so that nothing uh, no electricity is there but then it's so dark I have to keep switching it back on to check so once this is done it's uh, we will be soaking the filter in the water in warm water So yes, we are finally done. It looks done. I have used a, another dry cloth to uh, dry everything out and now it's time to soak my stuffed dog filters, the ones which actually trap all the grease and grime. So I do this quite often so it doesn't have much. The first time I remember I did it after a long long time, oh my god that was awful. So now I am just applying some dishwashing soap, a liquid uh, and uh, I also applied washing soda uh, powder, uh, it's mixed, I mixed a little washing soda powder with dishwashing liquid and I applied it, that's how I clean my stuff top filter and then I've applied it to each plate and then I soak it in hot water and leave it there and also I left my the rags I used till now and all the you know I didn't really show it but they had these grease marks and it just came off so while this is soaking I move on to the next work so in all I think it has taken me the whole thing including recording this the whole cleaning, cleaning of today it took me 27 minutes uh, moving that uh, you know the phone around to record everything so I also I forgot to tell you I also added some white vinegar and let it soak so immediately all this it pulls out all the grime. Now let's see how to clean the kitchen cabinets. Um, so mine are these um, uh, you know those metal kind of cabinets it's not wood it's a false cabinet so this just like metal cabinets. So I'm just going to use uh, warm water with uh, dishwashing liquid um, for this process. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. First I will spray it onto the outside of the cabinet. I have glass doors so I'll wipe them down with a clean cloth and then I'll get to the insides of the cabinet move things around, reorganize a bit. I also decluttered uh, while doing this. I decluttered the kitchen cabinet a bit. Uh, got rid of a couple of glasses and one, uh, uh, you know, one device I was not using for long. So I just got rid of all that and then put it back. Just wiped it thoroughly, wiped it again with a dry uh, wet cloth, then a dry cloth and then put everything back. That's all I have done here. So I did the top three cabinets uh, today. So uh, hopefully tomorrow I'll get to the other, I have one, two, three cabinets on the top and then I'll go to the bottom cabinets. So, so I will be able to get all the cabinets done quickly then. So I'm doing the second one now. It has a lot of uh, vessels actually I don't use. So I'm going to declutter that uh, while uh, uh, after I you know wiped uh, wiped down the wash the uh, stuff top filters and I'll leave it to dry a bit drip dry kind of after even drying with the cloth you know when I put it to dry still you will find that you know it, it needs some time to dry because when I put it back I don't want it damp or anything 
and then once that is done I'll be decluttering and then I'll put the filters back and that's it I'll be done with my deep cleaning so today the whole deep cleaning the kitchen deep cleaning took me around uh, 27 minutes so that was how much I spent I wanted to do it only for 15 minutes it took a bit longer than I wanted but I thought okay anyway I'm doing it let me do it properly mm, otherwise uh, you know it's only once in a month I'm doing it so let me just do what I'm doing it thoroughly and properly so hopefully the other cabinets won't take as much time I think my fridge will be the major thing again and uh, let's see how I have to do the microwave I have to do the fridge I have to do the induction so and also I'm planning to do the mixie so let's see how long it takes this week so that's it for today please do subscribe if you have not subscribed this is my Indian kitchen deep cleaning routine this is day one I've done it for 27 minutes my aim was 15 minutes but it took quite a long time so hope you have liked it do leave me a comment on how you do your clean deep cleaning is there any special detergent you use do you have some other tips you would like to share which I can incorporate into my deep cleaning and make it even more quicker and more efficient thank you guys and bye bye